So I've just been filming some videos in my office. So I've got my kind of studio set up over here. Um, and even though I make lots of online videos, which I do think are really important, and I'm obviously a massive fan of digital stuff, I still think there's a time when you need to be reading books. So this is my kind of bookshelf. Um, I just thought I'd show you kind of some of the things that I, I've actually been using when it helps me with the physics. Now, not everything um, is about uh, physics. This book here, if you're a teacher, I thought was really good. So this is making every science lesson count. And I suppose sometimes when you're actually teaching, it's hard to take that step back and reflect on what you're doing and actually read about uh, kind of best practice. So I think that's a really great book for teachers. Um, also over here, I've got some other books, not so much about teaching, but actually which are just quite useful. This one here is all about essentialism, which is basically how you do the right task and not try and do too many things, which I'm still not that good at. I've got Isaac Physics books for GCSE and A-level. Um, this is probably one of my favourite ones. So this one here is an old book. Uh, no pictures, but that's really important when I've been reading it about, uh, I guess, some of the kind of proper A-level physics, although it doesn't have the whole course in it. And then I've got um, books about experiments. I've got some ones which are OCR-specific. I just say staff, I probably need to give that back at some point. Uh, more OCR-specific books. Uh, this one here, um, OK, it's not a book, but it's a catalogue because SciChem have been lending me equipment for stuff, which is brilliant. And I suppose by the side of it, I've got to give a bit of a shout out to Gratnalls as well. Uh, they sent me some stuff in the post, some of these uh, Gratnall trays over here. So um, I'm about to make some videos about Leyden jars in the future. So Gratnalls are very kindly uh, sending me equipment for me to put stuff in. So that's, that's really nice. Um, over here, again, these aren't books, but these are the different course specifications, which I read. Uh, you know, that's how I spend my free time. And then I've got some books about GCSE. Now, um, you will probably have something at school, but some of these I thought I'd just buy anyway. So um, I've got one here by Primrose Kitten about some of the kind of practical skills for the practical endorsement tasks. Um, I've got another one just to see what, uh, what is on the market. Um, I've got some revision guides over here, some other uh, textbooks and things. So I've just got loads of different textbooks. This one here um, I find actually is really good. So. Um, Helen Reynolds, Alom Shahar, and also Primrose Kitten has kind of sort of been a kind of series editor. So these books here, if you're doing GCSE, are really useful. Loads of good questions in those. Um, something else that I've got, uh, I suppose, recently is this book over here. Uh, this one here by Keith uh, Stansby. This one here has thousands of questions in it. And I just thought it would be interesting to see what someone's actually produced. So this one here, I mean... Um, you know, there are loads and loads of questions all about resistors. And the idea being that if you do a shed load of practice, then you're going to get better at doing the physics. So this one here, uh, self-published, and I'll try and put the links beneath the video. I thought that's, that's really nice. Uh, something else which has been self-published recently is this book over here uh, by Gorilla Physics, so Kit Betts Masters. Um, this one here is, you know, definitely worth it. You can get a digital download. I bought the hard copy because I just like reading books. You know, I can take them anywhere. Um, and uh, this one over here is brilliant if you're maybe thinking about doing A-level physics next year, if you're currently doing GCSE, or if, even if you are doing A-level physics, there's some great tips and kind of introductions to all the chapters. So if you haven't really got one, I, I reckon it's definitely worth spending £5 on that, especially if you're thinking about doing A-level physics next year. This kind of gives you a great introduction to it. And I suppose going on from there... Um, what I've been doing recently is just reading as much as I can. So this is one of my favourite books, uh, Advanced Physics by Steve Adams. There's another one here. Um, maybe not so keen on this one here, but uh, it's still pretty good as I'm basically uh, making lots of summary videos now for A-level physics. So you should be uh, reading some kind of fiction as well as the kind of sort of non-fiction that we have over here. But I think this is just my kind of stuff that I'm reading when it comes to making videos. And that means when I do make the videos, hopefully uh, I'm not making too many mistakes. And it means that um, the kind of stuff that I get in videos is accurate and it's actually going to be useful for you when it comes to doing your exams. Anyway, enjoy World Book Day. Uh, make sure that you do keep reading. It is a really important skill. The more widely you read, um, the, the, kind of, the more information you're going to take in. You start to make connections between different bits of topics and physics especially. And actually, it's just really interesting. Anyway, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you do subscribe on YouTube and have a look at my websites, both for GCSE and A-Level. Thank you very much.